In this video, we'll continue to talk about tools that can help you conduct an interactive lesson. And we'll continue to talk about Kahoot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Kahoot. No matter you're using the desktop version or the app version, you can still find the Create button, either on the top right corner or at the bottom of the app. And if you want to create a Kahoot, simply click the button. Then you'll be asked whether you would like to create a Kahoot from scratch or you can create from some template. I'll show you how we can create a Kahoot from scratch. And if you have time later on, after knowing the concept of how to create a Kahoot, you can always use this template to help you. So once you click the Create button, this is the page that you can see. There will be one question default set and created for you. All you need to do is just add the content in this question. On the top left corner, you can see that you need to input a Kahoot title and you can do some setting. And once you click settings, you can input all the information about your Kahoot and then you can click done to save the settings. And on the left of the page that you've just seen, there's a button called add question. And once you click add question, you can see different question types that you may use to add your questions. Because currently I'm using a premium account, a paid account. That's why I can choose different types of questions. But I'm sure even if you use a free one with the quiz question, the multiple choice question or some polling function, it will be good enough. So right now, let me introduce these question types to you that can help you design your new Kahoot. So the first type would be quiz. Basically, it's multiple choice questions. And you can see that on top, it says click to start typing your question. This is the question box. Whatever question type, there is this question box and you can input your question there. And then on the left hand side, you can see the time limit and points. You can always change the time and the points. And in the middle, you can add image or video. And then at the bottom, there are four choices. Maximum, you can only input four choices. And minimum would be two. So you can see on the left, the time you can choose. So you can choose from five seconds to 240 seconds. That would be four minutes. And then for points, you can choose zero point to 2000 points, depending on the level of difficulties and whether you want to add points to those questions. And in the middle box, if you want to add any image and video, you just click to it. And then you will see this little browser popped up asking you to choose image from Getty Images, the library, or upload an image yourself, or you can add a YouTube video. And personally, I really like this function by choosing image from Getty Images because normally if you want to use uh, the images from Getty Images, you need to pay. And there are watermarks, the, mo the, the photos that you can find from the search engine. So here you can freely use all the images from uh, the Getty Images. So I really like it. And once you click um, the add image um, from the library of Getty Images, and all you need to do is just type the keyword of the picture that you want to find in the search box and then the pictures will come out and you can just choose and then it can be added to the question. So after adding an image to your question, on the right hand side, you can also see a box showing you how you want your image to be shown. Um, it can be in one full picture or in different grids, so you can choose. And this is a simple question set to show you how it's like when you have input the question, you have set the time, you have input the image, and also the answers. You can see that here, it's not just a single correct answer. There are three correct answers. So yes, you can do this too. Either a multiple choice question has only one correct answer, or you can have multiple correct answers. As long as you check the circles next to the answer to show that it is correct, then the system will be able to identify. 
So the next type of question would be true false question. It's really similar to the multiple choice question, but there are only two options, true or false. And of course, you can change the, the name there. You can call it yes or no. So the rest of the thing would be the same. You put the question, set the time, set the points, and then add the image. So this is a sample of a true or false question. After you set the question, input the question in the question box, and then input the answer key at the bottom. And then what you need to do is check the circle next to the correct answer to let the system know that this is the correct answer for students to get points. So this is an open-ended question. You can ask students short answer question like fill in the blank question. The rest of how to set this question will be the same. Input the question, set the time, set the point, and add the image. But the main difference would be typing an answer at the bottom. Because when students see this question, they will have to type the correct answer. So always leave enough time for students to type. So don't set five seconds. It's really hard for students to type the answer in just five seconds. So always give enough time for students to type. And make sure your answer is correctly spelled. If not, the system will definitely not be able to recognize the correct answer from students. And this is an example. You can see that apart from one correct answer, I've also input three correct alternative answers. So at maximum, at most, you can add four answers there. But my suggestion is try to add something more straightforward because time is really short and you may not be able to give very, very clear, long and lengthy instruction in the question box. But at least it still allows you to add three more alternative answers, which to me, I think is good enough already. And then you will also see puzzle question. Basically, it's like a sequencing question you can put your answers in orders and all you need to do is just follow the boxes below from one to four in order put your correct answers in order and then when students see the question the answers will be randomized and they need to put them back in the right order so for example you may want your student to reorder the sequence of a story or maybe it's an experiment, uh, you want them to rearrange the steps, the procedure of doing the experiment. So apart from asking questions, you can also ask students to do polling. But the polling one is really similar to making a quiz a multiple choice question. So I'm not going to talk about that again and repeat. And one more function I really want to share with you about Kahoot is that if you use a premium uh, account you can actually add slide to it so it is not a question but a slide for you to present concept knowledge or ideas so that you can actually teach with Kahoot as well and it's very easy all you need to do is just type the title of your of your slide and then add a picture and then type what you want to uh, explain any test you want to include in your slide in the box below like this, you have a title, you have a picture, and then there's some points that you want to add to your slide. So basically, this is a quick summary of all the question types that you can use in a Kahoot quiz. And now I'm going to share with you some other tips when you create a Kahoot. So when you create a question, you need to input the question, you need to input the answer and the correct answer. The image will be optional. So if you miss any of it, like missing a question or missing a correct answer, the system will actually inform you and alert you like this. So you can see all these purple boxes suddenly appear. If you move to another question without completing one question in the previous slide. So I actually really like this reminder. Also, you can easily duplicate or delete a question or a slide. So on the left column, after you finish setting all the questions, you click the one question and then you will see there's, there are two buttons, two icons next to the question. One is for duplicating the slide and question, another one will be for deleting it. 
because sometimes you may have very similar question. You just need to change the answer key, or yeah, the question structure is really similar. So you want to save time instead of typing the question again and again. All you need to do is just use this duplicate function, and you can always drag and drop to change the order of the question as well. So one more thing I want to share with you about setting question is to use the question back. It's an amazing function. On the left hand side, below the button add a question, you can see another button called question bank. Once you click to it, you can use a keyword to search for any question that exists in the Kahoot platform. So basically, they are question created by other users, and if those quizzes are open to public, you can reuse this question. And all you need to do is simply click the button that. Plus icon, the add button on the top right corner of each question, and then you can easily add it to your own question and make it a quiz. And it's different from other platform. This one is super smart because after adding the question to your quiz, then the plus icon, the add icon, will be turned into gray color. It means you cannot add anymore. Which means these questions are added to your quiz already, so you wouldn't duplicate and reuse another question that is really similar. So last but not least, after setting all your questions, you can play immediately, or you can actually share this Kahoot with your colleague, with your friend, with your students. So after you click done, and then you will be brought to this little browser asking you whether you want to test your Kahoot, whether you want to play now, or you want to share with others. And once you click share with others, you can input、uh, other users' login name, or share with a link, or share with an email. I'm sure once you click that button, you can explore the page yourself. So after this introduction, you may be interested in using the premium account function, but at this point, you may not want to pay yet. Um, because you're not sure whether you use it for long run or you just use it during this、um, COVID nineteen outbreak. So what Kahoot has done for us is that it offers free premium accounts for sixty days if you sign up now because of the outbreak of COVID nineteen. So go to Kahoot now, and on top of the main page, it has a yellow bar asking you to learn more about this free premium. Account issue. So click in and then follow the steps and then sign up. You can get it for free. So that's it. It is a very brief introduction of how to create a quiz in Kahoot. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me and ask. Bye.